Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. It is Tuesday, January the 1st, 2019. I'm Alicia Smith. Right now, the search continues for three people who tried to rob a business on 8 Mile near Evergreen on Detroit's west side. Police say a white suburban SUV pulled up to the business and began ramming the building. An employee inside started firing shots. The driver took off. Two other people outside the vehicle ran away. Anyone with information should contact Detroit police. For the first time in eight years, Michigan will have a new governor. Gretchen Whitmer will be sworn in as Michigan's 49th governor today. She replaces outgoing Republican Governor Rick Snyder. Whitmer will become Michigan's second female to hold the office. The former state lawmaker will be taking part in a swearing in ceremony outside of the state capitol building in Lansing this morning. Hourly workers in Michigan will see a minimum wage increase today. It will bump the current hourly wage from 9.25 to 9.45 an hour. There are also incremental increases slated for 2020 and 2021, with an increase to $12 an hour by the year 2030. Michigan remains above the federal minimum wage, which remains at $7.25 an hour. Time for a look at your forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Mike Taylor. And another cold one. High temp today, at least in the afternoon, of 34 degrees. We stay mostly cloudy. Some flurries are going to be passing through. We bottom out to 25, however, and we have another cold day to get through. That's going to be Wednesday, and that comes with a chance of snow as well. We start to warm up once we get into the weekend. In fact, for Saturday, we had a high temperature of around 43 degrees. Alicia? Thanks, Mike. 7-Eleven is offering coffee and water for just 19 cents today. The one day deal includes any medium cup of freshly brewed coffee or one liter bottle of seven select pure water. Now there is a catch. If you want the 19 cent coffee or water, you do have to sign up for 7-Eleven's rewards program and download their app. I guess they're trying to appeal to the hangover crowd. Hope you have a wonderful first day of January. Don't forget you can get news anytime at WXYZ.com and our 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and 7 First Alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.